Every Texan can be proud that our state is a national leader in new business growth. Maintaining that economic prosperity over the next several decades will allow Texas communities, large and small, to continue thriving. Keeping up with progress means that Texas must constantly improve our transportation system. As modern, efficient, and safe as our state highway system is now, increases in port and freight volumes combined with population growth has caused traffic loads to expand in the state. These higher traffic loads are occurring from the state line in Texarkana and Joaquin, continuing through Houston to the Rio Grande Valley and Laredo. Laredo is already the busiest inland port in Texas, and with the completion of the Panama Canal system expansion expected in 2014, the business at Gulf Coast seaports is expected to rise. Increased ports business means more trucks on Texas highways. The population of Texas continues to increase as well, and with that comes a rise in passenger vehicles on our state's highways. Texas grew by 4.3 million people between 2000 and 2010, an increase of 20.6%. Some Texas counties even grew at a rate of over 50%. To prepare for the future needs of Texas motorists and businesses, a group of citizens have come together to plan for development of existing roadways into an interstate highway called I-69. In fact, I-69 is a multi-state initiative that dates back some 20 years. Currently, I-69 runs from Port Huron, Michigan, along the Canadian border, to Indianapolis, Indiana. Other states further south have completed or designated sections of I-69, including Tennessee and Mississippi. The overall goal for I-69 is to complete the existing sections of Interstate Highway from Michigan through Texas. Texans are now working together with their communities to decide how I-69 can best be established. There are five citizen committees, known as segment committees, that were organized to produce local recommendations for I-69. The I-69 Advisory Committee, also comprised of citizens, will take the local recommendations of the five segment committees and compile a plan for developing I-69 in Texas. From there, the I-69 Advisory Committee will work with the Texas Department of Transportation to seek funding for those community-driven transportation improvements. While some communities along the 900-plus mile stretch of I-69 Texas have various local planning challenges to work through, there are general principles that all of the segment committees have decided on. These citizen-led committees have stated that I-69 Texas should be developed on existing highway footprints as much as possible. The highways considered for I-69 include portions of US-59, US-77, US-84, US-281, and State Highway 44. This will help reduce impact to existing businesses and homes along the route. Wherever possible, Texas will seek redesignation of existing suitable highway sections as I-69 as soon as possible. Public input will be vital in the progress of I-69. The I-69 committees are just the start of Texans shaping the completion of this interstate. Citizens will have multiple opportunities to learn about and comment on the development of I-69 in their hometowns. I-69 will produce benefits for those communities that it runs through. From safety improvements to economic development opportunities, I-69 will have a positive effect on Texas. The interstate's improved traffic flow and connectivity with the rest of the country will enhance the quality of life in I-69 towns. So, what can you do to be part of I-69's progress? Log on to www www.textdot.gov forward slash driven by Texans. There you will find information on what's happening with I-69 in your part of the state. You can learn who your citizen committee representatives are, get up to speed on your area's needs and challenges, and leave comments about the whole program. I-69 is driven by Texans. Log on today and help move Texas transportation forward.